Hello everyone, welcome to Semicon Talk. One of my subscribers asked about Plitty Package Substrate and I decided to make an episode for that. So, let's talk about it. Plitty Package Substrate looks like this and I will explain about the structure through its manufacturing process and material. One big difference between Plitty Package Substrate and Wirebond Package Substrate is Plitty Package Substrate has more IOS with area array and much complex structure. This is whole manufacturing process for 4-layer Plipsy package substrate. I will explain one by one. Step 1 is the preparation of core board. What is core board? Core, core board, copper clad laminate are the same thing. And it looks like this. It is a thin piece of dielectric with copper foil bonded to both sides. This dielectric is cured fiberglass fabric with epoxy resin. Cross section of core looks like picture at lower right. So it is a rigid board. Step 2. ABA placement on both sides and baking lamination and metal hot press. What is ABF? ABF stands for Ajinomoto Builder Material. So, it is a kind of building material made by Ajinomoto, Japanese company. And it is the most popular building material for pretty busy substrate material. Step 3. Pre-cure in a hot air clean oven. It is a cure process in oven and very straightforward. Step 4. BR formation by CO2 laser or UV lag laser. It is a process to make BR by laser. And question is, what is a BR? BR is a mechanical hole through the substrate and used to connect copper layers vertically. BR can be made by mechanical drill or laser. The reason we use the laser for this split BGA substrate because laser can make the smaller BR than drill then make more complex design which is necessary for pretty BGA substrate. There are many different types of BIA by structure. Step 5. This mirror and electrolysis copper plating and drying. This mirror is a process to remove resin and drilling debris from drill holes. During drilling process, drilling has friction with substrate and make heat then melt resin. We need to remove this molten resin which covers BR for following copper plating. We also need to remove debris from drilling process. Electrolysis copper plating is a process to deposit a layer of copper on the substrate surface by chemical reaction without electrode. It is to make electrical connection between copper layers vertically. Step 6. Dry film lamination. It is a process to laminate dry film and this film will be used as a mask to make copper pattern for electrical signal pass. Step 7. Dry film patterning. Through lithography like exposure and development, we can make pattern mask to be used for following plating process. Step 8. Electrolytic copper plating. Electrolytic copper plating is a process to deposit a layer of copper on the substrate surface by chemical reaction with electrode. The difference between electrolytic copper plating and electrolytic copper plating is electrolytic plating does not use electrode means it can deposit on insulator. Instead, electrolytic copper plating uses electrode means it only can deposit on conductor like copper. It cannot deposit on insulator. Also, electrolysis copper plating is good to deposit thin layer with a slow deposition rate. And electrolytic copper plating is good to deposit thick layer with fast deposition rate. Step 9. Removal of dry film after pattern formation. Dry film is used as a mask to make copper pattern and after that it is not necessary anymore. So it is removed through this process. 
Step 10. Flash etching and annealing pool cure. Flash etching is a quick etching process to remove unnecessary metal layer, usually seed layer, to finalize substrate circuit. Annealing is pool cure process to complete substrate manufacturing process. Now, you finished 4 layer Philips BZ substrate manufacturing process. And if you want to add more copper layer, you can repeat this process. This is a brief introduction to flip chip substrate manufacturing process and material. I hope this can help to understand basic flip chip substrate manufacturing process and material. Have a nice day and see you again soon. Bye bye.